We're going to continue with our harp making project. And remember, I talked about nine pieces that comprise the harp. And today we're going to concern ourselves with the soundboard. Now this soundboard I'm showing you, this is made out of just regular old plywood, nuon plywood, which makes a very acceptable soundboard. These little projections here are the taquitos. We'll get into those later. You can see the back of it has this reinforcing strip. Now this, of course, is already completed, but I'm going to show you how we would make one from scratch, and we're going to do it even better. We're going to make it out of a very good wood called Sitka spruce. We're going to start out with this piece of Sitka spruce, which is 1 8 inch thick, 6 inches wide, and 6 feet long. And I'm going to try to zoom in on this, see if you can catch it, but it's very, very, very tight grain wood. These are the annual rings, and I'd say they're about, oh, 20, 24 per inch. That's very, very slow grade lumber. And if we can catch this on the video, the grain of the wood runs straight up. It's pretty hard to see here, but take for my word, this is what's called quarter sawn wood, and it means that the annual rings are running vertical uh, just uh, every, oh, I'd say, sixteenth of an inch or so. The lines are running straight up and down. Now this rather odd looking device, these are called bar clamps and we're going to set the uh, soundboard on the bar clamps so we can clamp it together. So we're going to set these pieces, make sure that they're lined up. You can, I hope you can see the little pencil marks. I've marked them so that when it's finally set up It'll line up precisely. There we are. Now, I'm going to take some glue and apply glue to both edges, this edge and this edge of every single piece. Now, I hope you can see this. I've put a piece of plexiglass right on top of the soundboard and the plexiglass has been waxed on the side that is facing the soundboard and that's so that the glue won't stick to it. And before I start tightening these uh, clamps up, I'm going to put some weights on top of the soundboard so that the soundboard won't bulge up and destroy our glue joints. And even though it's only one eighth of an inch thick, if it's glued properly, the soundboard will never come apart where the glue joints are. It'll fail at any point but the glue joints. A glue that's proper, uh, joint that's properly glued is stronger than the wood itself. Just so you can see all the stages, I put these uh, boards on top of the plexiglass, on top of the soundboard, and then I'm going to take these big weights somebody gave me and put them on top of all that, and then, only then, will we tighten things up so that nothing will bulge out. Okay, so now you can see these uh, three big weights, which are probably about 30 pounds a piece, on top of the soundboard. And now, if all goes well, we have to check everything. We're going to start tightening these clamps. And ever so slightly the soundboard is moving until it We're going to start tightening these. The secret is not too tight because if it's too tight we'll squeeze out the glue from all the joints but certainly has to be tight enough. Now the last thing I've done I've set these uh, clamps you can see right on the edge of each piece of Sitka spruce where it's joined together and the reason for that is uh, sometimes they don't line up uh, precisely right with the exertion of the weights and everything so this just makes sure that we'll have a good uh, j joint uh, when it's 
dried. This is a picture of a glued up soundboard made from a different material, polonia, and understand that the soundboard and the back are really identical with some minor exceptions. Here's the photo of another back that already has the hole drilled in it, and we'll get into that later. But the soundboard and back are sort of mirror, mirror images of each other.